I saw someone ask a question in our group the other day and ask how to put a video onto a photo template so that they could share it on Instagram or whatever. And I want to tell you today how to fit a video inside of those pretty templates that you see on Creative Market or whatever so it looks like that computer and that photo is playing your video. So stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you are here and today's video is extra special because it's an editing video and you guys always love editing videos. So don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss anything else and make sure you come back every single week for whatever new shenanigans I'm up to over here. Now, like I said, I, ha I saw someone in another group ask this question and they tagged me and they said, do you know how to do this? And essentially what it was, was a video embedded into a photo, a stock photo. So it was a stock photo of a computer on a pretty desk and there was a video playing inside of the computer. And they wondered how to do that. Now my friend Erin Shebish from Wit & Wisdom is awesome at this and she puts those, these on her Instagram stories a lot and she was actually one of the examples that the person who asked me this question used. So if you're needing to know an example of that, here is kind of what she has done with hers. Yeah, so it's pretty awesome when you can do something like that that creates that that interrupt in someone's feed and creates them going, oh, how did they do that? Or that's a really cool video. So this can actually be done in any editing software that you wanna do it in. I'm gonna show you today how to do it in iMovie and Premiere Pro because they're very similar. It can be done in either one. So. Let's just jump into it. Now, just a quick little tip. Um, the one that Erin posted on her Instagram and the question that was posed in this group was specifically about creating them to post to Instagram, which means they're square. So if you wanna create them in a square format, you will do exactly what I'm teaching you in this video, but you'll also want to make it a square. And I have tutorials on how to do that in iMovie and Premiere that I will link below. So if that's something you wanna do, check out those links below after you watch this video. If you're working within Premiere Pro, then what you need to do is you just need to open a new project. And before doing anything else, you need to drag over the image that you want to put the video in and the video. So for instance, if I wanna use this photo, which is just a stock photo of a computer with like a pretty you know, overlay thingy. Um, and then I want to use one of my most recent videos. Then I'm gonna drag that over into the panel. That's a lovely thumbnail too. Um, okay, <laughs> so then next what you want to do is you want to drag something over into the timeline because we can't change um, we can't change the size of anything or really do anything until there's something here to work with. This is just the material inside of Premiere. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this photo over into the timeline. And now it is there sized where I want it to be. If I want to put this video playing in this black spot right here, then I need to drag it over on top of the photo. And you'll see it's like at a weird ratio in the photo and like not in the right place. So then I want to open my effects control and click on this video. Then I want to reposition the, the video wherever it needs to be to go in that black spot. And as you can tell, it's not quite big enough for me. Um, so I'm just going to play around with it a little bit and that looks good. So now Now my video is inside of the photo, but if you're wanting to, you know, have it inside the photo for more than five seconds, you'll have to drag this photo over as far as you want it to be in the frame. So if I wanted this whole video to be in this, I totally could. If I wanted just a minute of it so that um, I could put it on Instagram or whatever, then I'd drag it over to that. But now my video is playing inside the photo. Pretty simple and easy. Now in iMovie, the process is actually really 
basically the same thing. Um, but in iMovie, you don't have the ability to make it different sizes. So for like Instagram stories or you know, in Instagram feed for the square video or whatever. So if you need more tutorials on that, make sure you check the description box below because there are tutorials on how to make square videos in iMovie and Premiere Pro um, underneath this on the description. But basically it's the same thing. You want to drag over that photo and you can put it in the media panel if you want to. And you want to drag over that video that you want to put inside the photo. And then down here in your panel, you want to drag that photo down and put it in the panel and you want to change it. So it's not doing that weird thing there, which is just under crop and fit and it won't do that anymore. I don't know. I'm not sure why mine defaults to that. I don't know if everybody's does or not, but mine totally does. So for me, you'll see that it's not filling the full frame of this area. Um, so I might want to change the settings or something on this photo or pick a different photo so that it is actually filling the frame. So I can crop to fill here um, and kind of get it where I want it and be done. So now it is cropped to fill the frame. So if I want to add the photo on top of it, I'm going to do the same thing I just did a minute ago. Um, I'm going to drag that photo on top of the picture, but you'll notice, or I'm sorry, that video on top of the picture, but you'll notice now it is like totally on top. You can't see the photo underneath. Okay, so to fix that, what you want to do is you want to make sure you have the video highlighted and you want to go up here to this little doodad here, which is video overlay settings. So you'll click that. This panel will show up and you will choose picture in picture. Then you can make the video the size you want it to be and place it exactly where you want it to be inside that photo. So again, to make the photo last through the whole video, you'll have to drag it out through the whole thing or through the amount of time that you want it to last. But now it's exactly the same as the one we did in Premiere and the video is inside the photo. So you can use this for basically anything and that's how you do it in Premiere and iMovie. Yes, that is all you have to do. It is crazy easy. You need to find the template, put the video in it, export it, and voila. Now, are you wanting any other editing tutorials on this channel? I'd love to hear what you're struggling with in the editing department and see if I can help you in a future video. So let me know in the comments below. And until next time, bye y'all.